One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for One Piece Chapter 855. I'm not feeling very well at the moment, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. Why don't we first talk about Bob in the beginning? So Bob has had had his bounty revealed. His bounty is 105.5 million berries. Now, first of all, bounties are no indicator of strength. They aren't. Look at Chopper. I mean, look at Chopper and Nami. Chopper bounty used to be a hundred. No, Chopper bounty used to be like fifty. Chopper bounty used to be fifty, and Nami used to be fifteen million. So yeah, there was a point where, like, on Fifty Man Island, Nami and Chopper had the bounty to fifty and fifteen million. Are they way stronger than those bounties should indicate? Are they way more dangerous than that? Yes. All right, I want to clear that up. Okay, so, my thoughts on Bobbin. I don't think he's a scrub. I think he's definitely a scrub compared to the way we played him up to be. That's one of the reasons I never made Bobbin videos. I wasn't going to get myself all excited for Bobbin when there was no reason to. He came in and he got practically one-shotted by Sanji. So... I don't think that's going to go anywhere special. I feel like Bobbin's probably the minor character in Big Mom's workforce. I mean, just because you get sent to Fifth Man Island doesn't mean you're a big deal. I'm sorry. But so Bobbin able to put the guards to sleep, and he said something. It's like the line of, like, heaven the demon will come, or something, and hell the demon will soon come, or something. I'm not sure if he put them to sleep because he doesn't want Big Mom to know. He may be like Oprah and he may not want Big Mom to become aware of his failure. Then he may be afraid that Big Mom will punish him or kill him, possibly. But, you no, know, Sandy got away. And with Sandy, the rest of the chapter is really just Sandy running around. The core of the chapter... Oh, sorry, I'm sick. No, but the core of the chapter is... Sanji is the team of Nami, Brooke, no, yeah, Nami, Carrot, Chopper, Jinbei, and Pedro trying to save Brooke. So, what happened was, was that Big Mom went to sleep and she's hugging Brooke like a doll. So, they open a mirror to her room and first Chopper tried. Chopper tried. Chopper failed. Then Car Ch Chopper gets caught being he sneezes. Carrot makes noise when she jumps and she gets caught. Big Mom thinks they're flies, by the way. She's sleeping. She thinks they're a really annoying fly. So she just keeps trying to kill them. Then they keep narrowly escaping. And uh, then Nami tries. Which, of course, I was wondering from the very beginning, why is Nami not trying? I mean, she's Nami. He called Cat Burglar Nami for a reason. And like if anybody can steal something from under Big Mom's nose, it is Nami. And also one of the reasons, reasons I personally always wondered why Nami wasn't the one to try to get the Polygraph writing. I mean, well we find out why in this chapter, but still it seemed kind of redundant, right? And you would say you send the Cat Burglar to do the stealing. But so Nami is able to get to Brooke. Brooke screams. This was great. Brooke is like, ah, go. Nami is like, shut the hell up. It's me, Nami. She grabs him, brings him into the mirror dimension, and they narrowly escape. Not before Big Mom fires her attack. Heavenly fire at the ground, and Jimba had to grab them in the mirror dimension and like put them down because the fire goes into it. And it's a really interesting, it's a really cool scene. But, um, so they get back into the mirror dimension. And when they're in there, uh, they start talking. And they're just talking, uh, it's actually a really funny scene, in a way, because they're, they're talking like there's no way you could have gotten the part of this, bro. Now he's like, I understand. Luffy will understand. We, we understand, bro. And bro, just... Prop the Sawyer said it made for guessing correctly. Brooke opens his head, reaches in, 
scratch paper, washed the perfect hobby, put it in her ass, and it's just like, here. And it starts talking, and you go back to talking, like, yeah, it was, and they talk about how they had, like, a decoy plan, how, like, they need to come up with a decoy plan, how they barely managed to get it, and Nami just like, wait, what? So he rolls it out of the ground, and Brooke got the polyglyph. He got the rubbings of the polyglyph. Apparently, they were just, they had just finished rubbing them when Big Mom arrived, and they hit them and bit in Brooke's head. So, Nami's like, oh my god, thank you, Brooke. Like, this is an, like you just pulled off what not even the other Yoko could easily pull off. And Brooke replied with, can I see your panties? He also makes a skull joke in this chapter, and he's like, I thought I was dead, though I'm already dead. So both the Akinami see her panties and the skull joke were really refreshing. Yeah, those are Brooke. Those are two things that are really very Brooke. And it's nice to have a callback to his original gimmick. That hadn't really been there very much. We haven't seen much of Brooke making skull jokes and asking for women panties. We haven't really seen a lot of that. So nice to see them bring back the old gimmick. So after that, we don't really get much with them. In fact, we just thought they could talk about how now all they have to do is find Sanji. Then we cut to Sanji, who is running around. And he finds it. He, he, he talks to a dog that wants his food. I'm not sure that's going to be significant, but a dog tried to eat the food he had. And he eventually finds Luffy. Luffy is unconscious against the wall. It's not pretty, guys. It's not pretty. But yeah, it's very exciting that Luffy and Sanji are finally going to reunite. They also replaced the brook with a fake brook. So it's, and they have the Ponoglyph rubbish. So when Big Mom realizes they stole Brook and that Sanji is missing, she's going to be pissed off. And I, and tomorrow, not tomorrow, but well the next chapter is probably going to be Big Mom waking up, going to be Luffy and Sanji talking as Luffy eats his food. And then it's probably going to be Big Mom waking up and being like, what the hell is going on? Where the hell is Straw Hat? Where the hell is Cat Burglar? Where the hell is Sanji? And where the hell is my skeleton person? And when is the wedding cake? Like, Big Mom is going to be pissed as hell. And if I had to rate this chapter, honestly, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with it. Really good chapter. And the Luffy Sanji reunion finally happened. So this is gonna be great. I'm dying to see where this goes in that chapter. I I'm so excited. My chapter predictions video will probably be up maybe tomorrow. I wanna start getting those up earlier. So my chapter prediction video will probably be up on Saturday or Sunday. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more One Piece reviews. Once again, I'm sorry, no green screen video. I ask, I would ask you to do a green screen review if I wasn't sick because I'm having a snow day today, but I'm sick. And I'd rather, when I give you a green screen review, I want it to be the best I can do and not some half ass crappy video. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a nice day.